bar holds some fond memories for me and for McLaren GT. We debuted the 12C GT3 car in 2011 and I managed to put the car on pole position. We then went and uh, contested the 24 hour race a few weeks later and it was a real tough part of the learning curve but a real part of what makes the car what it is today. It's also really, really exciting to see so many McLarens on the grid. We were in uh, Spa Town Centre and all of the cars were on display there and everywhere I looked was a McLaren, so that's really exciting to see our project growing. Spa 24 is sports car racing. Uh, it is the epiphany of everything that's happening with production car racing, the GT3 class, as evidenced by the McLaren, and all the competition there really make the statement of what's going on. Sure, there's technology at Le Mans, and American Le Mans racing has GT class, but GT3 seems to be the place to be. We've been to the 24 in Nürburgring with multiple classes, but Spa is the production-based sports car racing mecca. McLaren is taking their second year effort here at Spa 24 quite seriously and have upped the game uh, with uh, six extra cars, nine in total across their customer teams. And I'm sure that's a wake up call for uh, the Audi teams and the Ferrari teams and the BMW teams and Mercedes teams. But to watch these cars, uh, we've driven the production car to see the GT3 iteration and to see nine of them go fast and compete for this 24 hour race, uh, it's going to be an eye opener. It's going to be fun to watch.